All right, I just want to talk about I just want to talk about some things you should look out for while you are buying diabetic test strips so that you don't waste your time and money. Um, it's a mistake I just just made recently. Such a noob mistake, but sometimes I rush and I forget to check certain stuff. So uh, when people get their diabetic test strips, they come with a, a label on it from the pharmacy. Um, and uh, some wholesale buyers buy them with the label on uh, and some don't. So you most likely will have to take those labels off yourself. Um, so you want to tell the customer to leave the labels on. If they take the labels off, they're going to cause damage to the box because the uh, label sticks to the box and it pulls off pulls off some of the ink and just causes damage and um, wholesale buyers are are not not going to buy those kind of boxes um, even if you're selling them on on eBay they sell for drastically lower when the boxes are uh, tore up because at that point you're gonna be selling to people that are actually using them instead of people that are buying them at top dollar to resell them. So tell the customer not to take the labels off. So then a lot of your customers are going to uh, want to protect their privacy. So they're going to mark their names off, which is fine. But they have to use uh, like a marker. Um, if they use a pen or a pencil, it's going to cause damage to the box. So when you take the label off underneath, it's going to be uh, damaged from them using that sharp pen or sharp sharp pencil so you're also uh, wholesale bars are not going to want them and they're not going to sell for, for as much on ebay so tell them if you must mark your name out use a marker um and tell them if you use a pen or a pencil i'm not going to be offered i'm not going to be able to offer as much uh so um whenever you're going to go buy test strips and you're quoting people it's really important to uh mention that i forget to say it uh a lot of times and then I end up going out and meeting and and, and the boxes are uh, tore up and the way I do business um, if I didn't warn the uh, customer about it I don't I don't drop the price on them because that's my fault um, and another reason I do that is because I want to show them that I'm fair I'm a good good businessman and hopefully they can come back to me and sell to me next month and I just take that L uh, then to hopefully lock in a customer um, so when you're, uh, meeting up, obviously let them know. Um, and if you forget, if you're not going to do what I do and, and offer the same, uh, price, then when you go and meet up and check out the boxes, look and see if there's any damage from their, from them taking the labels off and double check if they did mark their name out, make sure they didn't use a pen. I had a customer uh, the other day, one of my regulars, and, and she she should have known, but I also should have reminded her. Um, she used the pen at first, and I think she realized what she did. So then she used the marker to like cover up the pen marks, and I didn't catch it until I got, got home and really looked at the boxes. So um, I didn't take an L, but... I didn't make a lot of profit off those boxes, not, a, not as much as I wish I could have. Um, so that's that's one thing. Uh, double check. I've had customers, uh, they like open the box or it like the, uh, the seal accidentally gets like torn or something and they'll use some tape and like tape it, tape it back. And I've, I've got caught with a couple of those boxes where I didn't catch it. So look out for that. Just take your time, inspect the box, make make sure there's no no damage, make make sure the uh, seals aren't torn. Um most importantly, just tell your customers if there's any damage to the box, I'm not going to be able to offer what I'm what I'm offering you. The price I'm giving you is for a mint condition box. Um so hopefully that saves you some time and uh money. Learn from my mistakes. Uh, trying to think of anything else while well, I got y'all. Uh, can't think of anything. Another good good thing is just have them send you pictures of of the boxes. Tell them um, this is what I pay for a mint mint condition boxes. Uh, but I suggest that you send me a picture so I can give you an exact quote on what I'm going to give you. So there's no confusion when we meet up. So if you got any value from this video, please give me a like um, or a comment. Reach out for any help. I'm happy to answer your questions. Thanks.